What is up YouTube, Skiz1 here, and today I have a review for you of the Molotow Drip Stick. As always, I'll tell you a little bit about the Molotow Drip Stick, and then we'll be heading outside to test this out on it's a rusty surface, wood, some smooth cardboard to see how it writes on something smoother as well. Before I get started, if you want to save a little bit of money, use these coupon codes at bombingscience.com when you order your next graffiti shipment they'll save you a little bit of money use them in the coupon code places so screenshot that or do whatever you need to do or you can also look in the description below to get these codes again so this is a 30 milliliter squeeze mop with a huge three millimeter ballpoint. It is refillable from the bottom, which is a great and helpful feature. It'll help you keep your mops cleaner too. The nib on the top, which is the ballpoint on this, is actually changeable as well. So if you wanna change it to a regular mohair nib or something like that, you can do that. For color selection, you have black, white, red, blue, yellow, and silver. The product does say that it is highly permanent and fast drying, being that it is a Molotow product, you can safely say that it is formulated as something that will indeed be permanent. So with that being said, we're going to head over to our surface testing area, see how this Molotow dripstick tags on wood, rust, brick, and a smooth cardboard surface. So let's get started. All right, so we're out here now with our Molotow dripstick. I don't know if you saw in the other shot, it wasn't a very good shot of the size of it, but it is very uh, small. So don't go buying this thinking it's like a full size mop. Remember, it does only hold 30 milliliters, so it fits nicely in your jacket pocket, jeans pocket, what have you. So right now we're just gonna test this out. First, just see how it writes on something smooth. We have some smooth cardboard. Then we have some painted wood. We'll test it on wood. After that, we'll test it on brick and some rusty surfaces. Now, I have high hopes for this. This has been compared a lot to the Grog Metalhead. I do have a review of that as well. I'll leave it in the top right corner if you wanna check that out and compare a little bit. In the meantime, we're gonna get started with this. So right away I'm noticing even on a smooth surface you get very nice smooth flow. A little streaky on a smooth surface at the same time. I don't squeeze a lot when I do my tags. If you do a bit more squeeze, you get a nice solid line. Even without squeezing a lot, I'm getting a couple drips here and there. So definitely uh, <laughs> it is it is controllable enough that you can get some solid letters without drips if you really want, but the drips are gonna turn up. And after all, this is the Molotov dripstick. Let's test it on wood now, see how that turns out. Put a bit of moderate squeeze into that. Wood is only helping it. It's It's gotten every single line there. It's just beautifully clean. Being that I was trying to squeeze a little bit more there, I would like the body of the marker to be a little bit more squeezable. Being that it is a drip stick, I do want the drips and I feel a little restricted with the body being as hard as it is. You get a little bit of uh, drip outside of the roller ball, which uh, falls off a little bit on the letters, as you can see there. So this could be a little bit messy. You don't want to use this when you're wearing your crispy clean clothes, but we're going to head over, see what this does on brick and rust. Before we move to the rust, we're just going to make sure this flows nicely on brick, because that is very important for a roller ball, a metal roller ball. So I mean, yeah, it's writing very smoothly. I do notice the red isn't, when it dries especially, uh, even on the black, it's not a very vibrant red, which isn't super ideal, but clearly for brick, it's writing on brick. It, that's the important thing here. All right, so if this isn't rust, I don't know what is. Let's get right to it here. Thank you. 
Well, it does write very clearly on rust. Uh, the first tag here was on some very, very rough rust. So it does write very smoothly. Obviously, writing vertical isn't um, ideal for any kind of tag with drips in it, but I think it's safe to say this marker will perform on every surface. The qualities of, about it that I like are that it is small. I would like a little more control with the squeezability of the body. The bottom refiller is nice. The red isn't as vibrant as I would like to see it. It is a nice red though, and their formula will be permanent. We know that. So overall, I would have to give this marker a seven out of 10. I'm really enjoying it. And I think overall I would recommend. If you guys have any questions about the product, you can ask in the comments. If anyone else has used this product, let me know in the comments. Let us know your experiences. It helps us here on our graffiti community. You can check the description below. If you made it to the end of the video, I have coupon codes there for bombingscience.com. That'll save you a bit of money if you order from there. You can check out some of my other reviews on screen now. Until my next video, peace.